This one's... That's there. Nah. Right, this one's completely different because the ones that I've done before, there's a flap, you've done it and it drops down. Okay. This yeah. one's just a bit cut out of the plasterboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, man, I've never seen one like this one, not exactly like this. But it... So that, um, that just pulls off that grey. Yeah. If you're going to have to change this, yeah. You need a bigger hole than that, a bigger space to work in. Oh, this, really? yeah, I think this is one of the worst one I've seen for access. Yeah. Well, this is the worst one I've seen for access. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay, yeah, okay. That's pretty loose. So that should be the neutral. Oh, that, let me see, let's see what we do for getting the power up. Let me just check the fuse yeah, first. Just... Let me just check this fuse. The result, if that's what's that gone. Yeah, that's really no, it's okay. Fuse is okay. Yeah. Let's have a look at this now. See, see if we're getting any power up there. Right. Let's try the earth. I think you should. I think. You should be getting 230 volts between this and that. Yeah. And I am getting two volts. <laughs> okay. I planned for this. <laughs> Hello there, sir. Um, um, there's an estate in uh, East London where they've got your units in sort of all the flats. It's, um, I, th I think this is one of your older ones. Let me just get the code, the number for you. It's a CME 14. Okay. Right, and what it is, the, the client had a, there was a power cut and then she, he heard the fan go off and then when the power came back on, the fan didn't come on. In the cupboard, there's a, fuse spur I've just checked the spur the fuse and that's fine and when um, I'm looking at it and you've got neutral L3 L2 L1 U1 Z U2 that's at the connection block and between uh, be between that component is most likely what's failed yeah it's, it's quite common because um, those units are quite old is that So that you means to be to replace it. you have to replace it. That's what I thought. That's what I feared. Yeah, because that component was very cheap as well. It was around twenty-five quid, something like that. Okay. Um, but yeah, the, the new units are uh, looking probably around two hundred and twenty pounds to replace the unit. Yeah, along, along those sort of lines. I'll give you the product code to replace the system with. Okay then. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, thanks very much. Okay, no problem. Right. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye. Now the thing is. Um, Oh, what I'm look, you see, because if you look at it, if you look, because that's fixed to the concrete ceiling to get it out. Do you reckon when you look at this, that's not going to come easily through this hatch, is it? What the um, the old unit when you look oh. at the size of it? Sorry, it's all right. Um, what do you think? You think it'll come will. through? Hopefully, but it's going to struggle, yeah, and yeah. then. It might be a struggle to get the, the new one up. Oh man. The whole thing or the um See, all was... this, all this big stuff, you, what you have to do, you have to remove all these yeah. um flexi stuff. Yeah. And then the old thing's gotta drop out. Put the new one up. And then you gotta put a new one up. The, like I said, the last one I done, yeah. It had a lot more room. There's a big door, you drop it. And it, you know, it was awkward because things were in your way, but that was easy to work on. This looks like, <coughs> this looks like a bad one. <laughs> to make things easy, you might have to cut that plasterboard just cut to get more, more room. Out, yeah. Well, I think you'd have to cut quite, a, to actually get yeah, enough yeah. room. Cause you can't work through that little 
No. You know, even if you get it up there, you've got to drill the ceiling. Yeah. Because yeah. What, what's going to happen, the new one, the drill, the holes probably won't match up. Yeah. The fixing holes. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to need, you need all, even when you cut the ceiling, it's still going to be difficult. Yeah. But to try and do it without cutting the ceiling, yeah, yeah, you're going to give that. yourself a problem. Yeah. And also, the last time I fitted the new one. Yeah. There was a problem with, I, I reconnected it, and then I had to, these vents were, weren't long enough, I had to, the flexi duct, I had to do something to it to get it. And then when I switched on, I think part of it, one part wasn't working, so I had yeah. to get onto the technical, and they walked me through it, and I got it working okay. Yeah. But, um, cause, let me have a look, in your, in your, um, Kitchen. Yeah, the switch is in there. There's a switch in there, isn't it? Yeah. For it. Yeah, so it's, it's here. Yeah, it's an odd wiring thing. Is that on or off? That should be on at the moment. That's off, and that it's like oh, mode right. one and mode, yeah. mode two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in its middle. It's it's off, off. Yeah. That's off. I mean, it could be even that. That's gone. Who knows? I mean, is there a way you can test it? Oh, no, let me. Oh, maybe I'll have to phone that guy again. Well, let me get this off, because I'm thinking, the thing is... It's getting something in it, but very little too. Though. Yeah, yeah, so maybe it, it could be something to do with something like this. Bloody hell, man, what are these screws? <laughs> what are these screws? <laughs> Here, Aldo. <laughs> okay, right, okay. Right, okay, because I, I wonder if it's this unit that... It could be this unit that's gone. Who knows? Because, yeah. look, it's a... And probably, what were they going to say? Oh, that's not made anymore. So, yeah. <laughs> that's I mean, what it should be just a switch, isn't it? But yeah. Let's see. Right. So uh, there's one cable that's that's not connected. Look, one cable in the back there probably wasn't meant to be used. Right. Brown and blue is usually neutral and phase. So let's go across them. That's all I can do. Because right. Yeah, I'm getting 240 volts there. What should, but I'm not sure what you should be getting out. Yeah, let me just see, so. Does it work? <laughs> and we don't make it. Good morning, technical. Hello there. Um, I just spoke to someone in your department regarding a fan um, I'm inspecting. Yeah, what it is, um, uh, I tested at that block and between neutral and phase I was getting two volts but uh, in the cupboard where that is there is the, a switch for the fan and a, a, a fuse switch fuse is fine but in the kitchen there is a f there is a switch it's got greenwood air vac on it and at the bottom it's got one and at the top it's got two like one speed and two yeah, yeah. speed and yeah, it, yeah, in yeah. the middle is off yeah. so at that switch i'm getting 240 volts so i wonder could it be this switch that's causing the problem preventing the power going to the fan what the the, the one with the one one position two position three position yeah, yeah one position it's got the, we're marked with the one and the two lines yeah no very much doubt it because we're getting 240 volts at that, at what, at the input of that. You, you should be getting 240 volts there. That's the main voltage switch. Right, but so, okay, because I, I was, I've took it, I've got it hanging off, and I'm thinking maybe that the, this, this is what's affecting it's preventing the voltage from going to the, maybe you've got power going in, but nothing coming out. Well, okay then. So in position, when the switch is in position one, okay, you yeah, should have no voltage coming out of it. Right, no voltage coming out. So which which one is the out? I can't. I'm not sure. Oh God! Now you're asking me. Okay, because um, what it is, you've got for at the top, you've got a connector block. You've got brown and blue. Then out the bottom of that, you've got. Hold up, maybe, Let, hold up. Yeah, it should be this. Let's see, let's see. Let me just check down the bottom here. So you're saying to me... Right. Position 
one is position one is just a trickle mode of the fan. So that means the fan should only have permanent live and that's it. Position two, it should have permanent live and then a switch live. Yeah. And then position two should have permanent live and a different switch live. Right, because when the, I'm looking at the back, man, you've got all these brown cables going out everywhere. And Because what it is, at the top, you've got the brown and the blue coming out. Then you've got a small blue going down to the bottom. So I've got it in position one now. When I check the terminals at the bottom, right, I'm getting 240 volts. That's, and then let me... So that's, that, that's power coming into the switch, isn't it? Well, well um, at the... Right. You've got a connector at the top, at the back of the switch. You've got a top. That's 240 volts. That's where I, I, I'm saying that's where the power is coming out. Now, directly below that, that, that um, connector block, there's another, there's another connector block. And when I go across, you've got a little blue cable coming from the blue into it. Then you've got the brown that's coming from the top um, connector block goes, is soldered into the what is the switch the back of the switch and then at the bottom of that you've got it's coming out to the bottom connector block i'm getting 240 volts here let's see what happens when i switch it off because in the middle is off isn't it uh no oh because position, position one is off Oh, right, because I've well, got... Uh, well, uh, well, actually, it, it, to, be, it, to be fair, it depends on the electrician at the time of how he's decided to wire it. But... Well, well, all I can say is, when I've put it in in the middle, it's off. I'm yeah. getting three out. When I put it in uh, position okay. two, put it in position two, let's see. Right, put, put it in position two, I'll get 240 volts. Position one, position two, I'll get 240 volts. Um, okay. Let me go across to the... I'm going to go across there. Right. I'm getting 240... So, uh, on all the back of the connectors, I'm getting 240 volts from neutral when it's on. Let me see when I put it in the middle. Put it in the middle. So, to be honest, I think I'm proving your case. I think I'm proving that... That... Um, the, the 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 connector block on the fan has gone because at the back of this yeah. at, I, at the back of this switch wherever i test between neutral and phase i'm getting 240 volts when it's in one when it's in two or in because one's trickle and one is full isn't it well the fan basically operates as trickle medium and boost yeah medium and boost you should have a second live with yeah, okay, okay, okay. So, I mean, to, to be fair, um, the CML14 that you've got there, it's, it's old. Yeah, okay. It's pro and it's unlikely that the switch is faulty. Yeah, okay, yeah. Well, it's, it's, I, think, it, I, think, I don't think the switch is faulty because the testing I've just done, I think, has proved that it's not faulty. Yeah. yeah, exactly, because it's very basic that, whereas the fan controls and stuff like that are a bit more complicated, so it probably means that you just need to rip all that out, yeah. including the connector block, you know, that you've got between the fan and the switch, and replace it, <clears throat> and replace it with the CMEV14. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I... Sorry, the CMEV4E. Yeah, yeah, your colleagues told us, your colleague told me that. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, Good. thanks a lot. Bye-bye. So at least we know. You, yeah. To be honest with you, I um, coming down there, I had a feeling that was going to be the case. Yeah. yeah. Pesky. Don't, can't get, just that little block, if we could have got that. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's not even so much the cost of it, it's just the fact that, yeah, if, yeah. Um, it would save all the work of To be honest there. with you, they should. They, it's fear that they just. You've got these all over the place. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. should have the parts. Yeah. You know? It doesn't have the um, number on it, does it? What that part number is? of what? That, what that actual part is, the little block. Um, so that's another. That'll be another firm, won't it? Someone, yeah. someone else will have made yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, that's all in Dutch. That. That's, <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. You never know. In German and all this. Yeah. So you never know. You never know. Search someone it. Else might. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Does it just yeah. come Hold loose? Wait a second. Wait a second. 
Yeah. It just covers loose. You just you can replace it. that. Yeah, let's have a look. Um, yeah, that's good. Look, we've searched it and found this part. Might be able to get it. Yeah. Right now, that's that one was completely. Well, not completely different. The thing is, the the position of it was the same, but the as you can see the cutout for it I don't think I've come across one like that so like I say that's gonna be hard to change but however we might get away with it because um, the guy googled the actual part I thought you may get it on eBay or something but it's a Dutch company that makes it it looks very similar so what he's gonna do is gonna contact that company and um, See if, see if it is the same thing and we might get away with it, who knows? That would save a lot of problems. So um, he'll let me know and um, then I'll let you know if I have to go back and fit it. Okay, nice one. Thanks for watching, see you next time.